Well, I got my captain's seat sorted. I got the base welded up. I've got it in. I'm going up back up to Simon's uh, to finish it off. Just to uh, rearrange the seat belt buckle where you put your seat belt in. And that's it. And tighten everything up. So I'm going to jump on the motorway to Kirkham and head towards his unit at Wheaton. Now I like going up to Simon's because it clears me head and I can get a few jobs done on Columbus then. And if Simon needs helping out as a friend, I just do odd, odd things to help him out if he needs a lift. So there's nothing wrong with that. He's helped me on a few jobs on this, so I'll help him. Anyway, so, update on me back. Paul and Denise from St. Alan's, subscribers. I got the, the Ibuprofen Eye Strength Cream. I started using it yesterday. Wow, bang on. Bang on. So, thank you, Paul and Denise. Brilliant, that. Much appreciated. I'm just jumping on the motorway now so I'll see you when I get there at Simon's unit it's nearly dinner time the sun's out I bought a pizza last night I'm going to put a pizza in and also a steak and kidney pie for later because I'm going to have some potatoes and bits and bats with it so I'll see you when my pizza's done Got a sweet chili chicken pizza. There you go. Let's get this in. And a steak and kidney pie. Yeah, let's get that in. Yeah, I've opened the side loading door. Get some sunshine in. Uh, I've just checked the time. 30 minutes, they'll be both cooked. So I'll see you when the pizza's done. I've bolted the seat in. I've lined it up and everything. I've tightened it up. So see what you think. Have a look. There you go. I'm going to get a, a set of seat covers. Black. 
fitted ones and you won't be able to tell that's out of a, a Ford uh, Galaxy at the back of it as well so I've done it for 160 pound that's the seat and the base as well all welded up so I've saved myself a lot of money instead of paying four hundred pound for one of these for feed the cat all you want four to five hundred pound and all you do I've just swiveled it round and look at that one captain seat I've just got inside because the sun is bright I've just got inside because the sun's bright and there you go Captain's seat fitted, swivels round and all I'm going to do is take the seat belt off there and put it onto the other side. So that's good that because it'll come in handy because really when I sit down I can only sit on this bench seat or the bed. This is brilliant. So. I'll show you after a bit more what I'm going to do inside the van. So keep watching. Destination Unknown Van Life. That's me, Craig. A few jobs on Columbus today, and this is what I've been doing. Right, I got some carpet, and I've carpeted all the grey bit in there, and I've carpeted it up to the first line. Can you see? All the way down until I put the cappings on at the bottom and I've carpeted all across here all the way across all the way down can you all the way down can you say all the way down there so yeah it looks a lot better and more finished off. I'm just on with cutting this bit here. I've just given me back a rest. It needs cutting all the way down there. Right, so. When you stand back here, if you see my later videos, it's all grey and it used to have stickers across. Now it's all carpeted in. At the back, at the back, I've been fitting some uh, plastic mouldings. Carpeted that at top, carpeted all the way down there. Right, I just need to put a piece on here now. So, as you can see. It's all covering, where I've insulated and where the white bits, the white bits of insulation like that. I might leave that one because it's access to the wiring. Now this other side, I'm on with, I've put the top patch on. The top patch is on. Can you see this? That, I'm going to screw all that into the, all the way down so that shovels in there it needs drilling and screwing and then that's another job done I'm just going to check my steak and kidney pie there you go my steak and kidney pie cooking what I'm going to do now is leave it in the oven Turn the cooker off, shut the door, and then leave it to warm up. So I'll catch you all later. Bye bye. There you are, they're just cleaning the race van up, which I'll be filming after because it's near enough finished. There's Pedro's camper, there's Columbus. I've just been getting all the stuff out of it and giving it a good clean. 
Looks a lot cleaner now, doesn't it, inside? And all in there, I've, I've cleaned it all. So, there you go. I'll be showing, I'll be doing a quick film round the race van after, showing you what it's like in the boot, in the back, in the living quarters. So, I'll see you later. There you go, Van Columbus, all spick and spam. Take a look at this. Cleaned all the shelving down, all the units. Cleaned all the toilet out, all the fridge. And there you go. Swept it all out, mopped it all out. Can't get any better than that. And I've also wiped the front seat down. I've ordered two seat covers, black ones fitted. So they'll both look the same seats. And there's a Captain Swivel seat for the passenger side. So it's all done that now. So, anyway, it's starting to rain here. And it's meant to be raining all night now, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with a few more jobs. And I'll speak to you later. There's Columbus on a nice sunny day. Parked up at Wheaton. I'm just up at, like I say, you know, Simon's unit. Quite a few camper vans what, for sale and what he's working on. There's a customer's van over there, just at the side of the, the silver Decato. There's a race van going back in the unit. And, yeah, so... It looks like my solar panels need a good clean on Columbus. But I'm happy I've had the captain's seat fitted now. I hope you're all having a good Easter. It's the start of the bank holiday today, Good Friday. And at least the sun's out and a bit of blue sky. So have a good weekend everybody. And hopefully the weather will stay good. After my dinner, Simon gets a race van out, I'm going to go and film it. And the race van, what I've been filming over the last month, just over a month, when I filmed it, it was an empty van. So I'll take a look at it now. Come on, I'll show you. It's a Peugeot Boxer high roof van. It's a 2021 and it's had a full race van conversion to it. I'll just take you outside it at the moment and I'll show you the outside and then I'll take you inside it. There you go, it's fully converted into a race van for motocrossing. There you go, bonded windows at the side. It's like a brand new van. Now, I'll just show you, there's an external power washing point. If you open that, you can connect a power washer for the outside. Like you said, to uh, wash motocrossers off when end of the day. That's Simon's company, SM Conversions. So, I'll give you a quick view in the boot. Right, I'll show you that in a minute. There's the external barbecue point. Can you see? You plug a connector in and you've got an external gas point then to connect a barbecue up. It's a bonded window on this side. Now let's go inside and I'll show you around. There's the cupboards with all the electrics in. With soft closing hinges, can you see? Right, there's a seating area. Yeah, 
brand new. Everything's brand new. Those are controls. That's the eating control. And there's your power point. And your USBs. It's fully off grid. As you can see, blinds come down. Blockers over the top. Can you see the lockers? With sprung hinges. And over the cab, spring hinges there. And you've got a storage space at the top of you. You got a skylight with blinds on and fly screen. The bedding area, well, I could fit on it and someone else. It's six foot, near enough six foot before. Um, it's a seal back on it, built in telly flat to the wall. I'll just take you up here and there you go that's the lockers cupboards for storage telly's flat to the wall so it's all built in another skylight at the back it took about five weeks to do this conversion Simon and a friend of his and there's the LED lights and the switches are at the back. There's a plug socket there that runs off an inverter, a powerful inverter, and those are your light switches. This is a elevating door, can you see? With a shower unit in, all the way down. And that's the light on and off. So a proper quality workmanship. You can see the elevating door. What slides at ease. And slides back. That's a two ring ob. And that's a water. It's got the fridge in there. So all in all. So all in all, it's a brand new conversion on a two year old van. Now I like coming here because it shows you what you can do with a van. It's like this cupboard here. Look how it's, it's all been fitted out. Brilliant. And all soft closing hinges. Now the water system, it's powerful. It runs off a Truma boiler. It's a combined boiler with the eating. So, let's go and have a look in the back now. It's got solar panelled on the roof. And like I said before, it's fully off grid. Now take a look at this, what they've done at the back. Look at all the checker plate aluminium. That's for the gas bottle. It's checker plated all the way around. Brilliant. And all the back doors are wood lined, carpeted, with alley plate at the bottom. Finished off to an high standard. Outside light there, which I'll show you. It works, outside light works. With the LEDs inside. But this is what I like about it. Look at these cupboards now. When it goes darker, you want to see these light the cupboards up. They've all got LED lights in at the bottom. So, and all rubber matting and all the shackles and tying points for the motor crossing can you see right everybody 
that is the Peugeot Boxer race van. It's completed now. So it's got some good stock up here, Simon. Like you say, I've shown you around the Peugeot Boxer high roof van. And that's a customer's van there, and there's Columbus. So brilliant, excellent workmanship. It's got the full awning on, all the awning lights on the outside, and brilliant. It's like a brand new van. Right. Right, that's it everybody. I've just shown you around a completed van. Now you see, like I said earlier on, in my early video, I was talking about four weeks ago, right, over, just over a month ago, I showed you the van. He bought two vans. And he's made one into a race van, and he's going to be starting the other van next week into a camper van. I'll be showing you and, and filming every week uh whatever in stages uh converting a Peugeot boxer into a camper van so unreal really the stock he has up here is good like you say he's got that Fiat Decato Sport which is for sale on eBay excellent and there's Simon going out in his van so I'll leave you there now everybody and I'll catch you later. Bye bye. A few hours after, the weather is typical English weather. There you are. There you go. After a strong, heavy downpour of rain, the sun is out. The sun's shining. And over the unit, there's a rainbow. Look at that for a rainbow. Look at how grey the skies are. It's only three o'clock in the afternoon. So I just thought I'd show you. Show you round again. There you go. Still, st oh, it started to rain a bit now. And look at that. I hope you enjoyed that rainbow everybody I hope you've liked the video what I've done look at the sky up there for a good Friday well everybody I hope you've liked the video what my latest vlog it's in the afternoon around half past three and look at the sky how dark it is that's a thunderstorm waiting to happen and there in the distance Heading, looking over Blackpool, brighter skies. So, I've got a few jobs done on Columbus this week, so I'm happy. So, I'm looking forward to my next road trip. And my next road trip will be coming soon. Keep watching, folks. Bye bye.
that's it folks like i said before i hope you've liked my latest vlog i'm parking up at clifton just off freckleton road so thank you for all the messages and thank you for the new subscribers who have subscribed to my channel take care everybody have a good easter and i'll be hitting the road very soon bye bye